ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Big Top. Let me tell you what I'm going on about here. That bike just ran away when you backed the throttle off. It just went into a really high, no fuel, a lot of air, idle, very dangerous for a two-stroke. So I put ultra gray in here. I did it on all the joints, the intake and what have you. And some of these cuts are all the way down to the bottom. All the way down there. So I bought another carburetor. So whenever we always zero your calipers out. So we go all the way down to the bottom. That's our measurement. Now if we put it up to here, you have a gap. This thing is not going all the way in there. all the way it could so and after you always got to clean up the casting lines and everything I polish this thing and everything and it still leaked up until I put a the ultra gray in there and then it stopped and then I knew what I know is it was this and And what I'm fixing to do can be done with a Dremel. You can see the gap right there. I'm not sure how much it is. We're fixing to find out. So we're at almost six hundred thousandths. So that's twenty twenty five thousandths difference. In the perspective, that's that much. That could be a lot. So, what I plan to do is chuck this in the lathe and cut this back so it seats all the way down. The man bought a bicycle, he should be able to take the carburetor on and off without having to throw a half a tube of goop on it to uh, get it to work. So let's get started. I got just a plain part off tool in here and I cut it down. I don't want to clamp this too tight. I don't want it to get loose either. And what we're gonna do, and like I said, you could do this with a Dremel. Or if you know somebody that's got a lathe, that's a good amount right there. We don't need to go that much. We just need to go about 25, 25 thousandths. All right.
and that could be done with the Dremel. No lips, no nothing. So the carburetor Yeah, see it goes past that mark. It's all the way up in there now. So we're gonna see if that works. And uh, 